Tell now what do you want now? This is your first visit to Miami, isn't it, Mr. Shaw? You think you're going to like it? Well, now you stop. You're going to ask me how do I like Miami. I don't like Miami. I've no feeling whatever about it. I haven't been on shore yet. All I know is that when I was coming along the channel, all your motor cars began blowing their horns and making the most horrible noise that I've ever heard in my life. Now, let me make a suggestion to you. The fashion nowadays is not to make a horrible noise for people, but when you take them seriously, you give them a two-minute silence. Excellent. Uh, what excellent. do you think of that? I think that's fine. We'll have to take it up with the Chamber of Commerce. Yes, yes. Well, now... Uh, well, now, how do you feel about uh, uh, England, sir? You're naturally away there. How uh, do I feel about England? Yes, how do you feel about England? I don't feel about it. I came away here to, to get rid of England. Really? Feel about something else. <laughs> You're looking for new feelings, then? Mm -hmm. I'm looking for old feelings now. That's really what... Well, it's a shame you can't stay here too long because they say every week you spend down here, it adds a year to your life. It's the climate, of course. Oh, you think so? That's what they tell me. Well, I'm not sure it won't take a few weeks off it, but... <laughs> <laughs> It's about half past two in the morning and end up mm, probably well, when you're having them. your breakfast. Oh, I know about them. Hey, Bill. That's quite enough. Well, about, uh, about uh, King Edward, wait, sir. Wait a minute, Bill. Once again. About King Edward, sir. Uh, now, do you feel, do you think that he'll uh, take a wife now that he's ascended uh, the throne? Now, how on the face of the earth do I know? He's got on to a middle life without being married. Why shouldn't he go on the rest of it without being married? There are heirs to the throne all round him. He can't get married now without cutting out his niece. He's very popular. And you think for that reason it might uh, hold him back from getting married? Well, I don't speculate about it at all. It's impertinent to do it. He doesn't speculate about whether I'm... Well, I forgot I'm married, of course, already, so he couldn't uh, have anything to say about that. This one. <laughs> Yes, what was her, what was her uh, formula for relaxation? To relax. To relax. What other national questions do we ask? It's no good in this country putting questions of national importance to me. I've been here before. I told you what to do and you haven't done it. <laughs> and you're up to your neck in trouble in consequence. I told you in New York, I put it to you very carefully and exactly. I told you that what you had to do in this country was to abolish your constitution, which was preventing you from doing anything. And now you see what's happened since. Ever that way about our constitution, how do you feel about Mr. Roosevelt? Well, uh, Mr. Roosevelt, you see what the situation is. You have a good president and you have a bad constitution. And the bad constitution gets the better of the good president all the time. The end of it will be that you might as well have an English prime minister. <laughs> what do you think about the American cameraman, Mr. Shaw? Mr. Shaw, Miami is proud to have you with me. Oh, thank you. Uh, this gentleman? Vander Holbrook. Uh, Vander Holbrook. How do you do, Mr. How do you do, Mr. Shaw? Very pleased to meet you as well. Yeah. Although we've been on the cruise for some time together. Of course, we've both been introduced before, but yeah. we're doing it just, just for the... the <laughs> <laughs>